All right, what's up, guys? I hope y'all guys had a great weekend uh, or great holidays, great Thanksgiving holidays. I know I ate way, way too much, but uh, but yeah, that's why I'm out here on the track today trying to burn off some of those calories. But uh, but yeah, so what I want to talk about, guys, today is overcoming failure, like a nursing school failure, a test failure, a clinical failure, uh, unsatisfactory, just failures in general. I want to talk about that overcoming that and you know just kind of staying focused on the goal at hand so i'm going to go ahead and get my run in real quick and then we'll talk about that all right what's up guys so i just finished instead of running like long distance i did um <clears throat> i did those uh sprint recovery drills where you <clears throat> when you sprint for like 100 meters you rest for 30 seconds you sprint another 100 meters, you rest for 30 seconds. And then, <coughs> whew, and then uh, you do that like eight to 10 times. So guys, talking about nursing school failures, uh, failures in anything you do really. And guys, you know, you gotta use failures as some, some type of feedback. You can't let it beat you down. Because one of the things that we all do as human beings, we all have a failure and then we, we go inward and we start thinking bad about ourselves. We're not smart enough. Uh, we're not good enough. You know, why, why am I trying this? You know, those things, those doubts um, are, are, are normal within a, within in nursing school or any kind of endeavor that takes some actual skill and some hard work. You're gonna have those, those doubts, you know, those petty feelings that pop up, but you can't let that define you guys. When you have a failure and you have an unsatisfactory in clinical or whatever, do it let that let that use that constructively to guide your next plan failures are going to happen to all of us guys it's part of life failure is what i mean if anybody goes through life and doesn't have a failure then i would actually question that person uh i'd question their intelligence i'd question their outlook on life uh everything you know it's like having a spoiled child a spoiled child is uh one of the worst people you can be around because they're never told anything wrong they're never given any kind of feedback to know that they're, uh, they're actually doing anything wrong. Same way in nursing, same way in any kind of skill you learn. If you don't know what you're doing wrong, how are you gonna correct? But these so-called failures, take a couple hours, you know, reflect on that. If you have to be sad about a test failure or a test grade, you know, be sad about it for a little while, but then use that energy, that negative energy and harness it into actually doing something uh, uh, constructive about your, next, your plan to the next test or your plan at next clinical. So guys, Failure, doubt, negative emotions are all part of growing as a human being, growing as a nurse. And growing as a nurse, growing as a person is a good thing. You know, you want to make sure that you're constantly, constantly growing, but you can't do that without failures. So I know that we all hate failures, right? We all, we all going to have those failures. We're all going to hate that. We're going to knock ourselves. We're going to beat ourselves up a little bit. But what I want you to do is if you have a failure, I know that these finals are coming up for everyone. And if you have a failure, do not let it sidetrack you from your overall goal. You have an overall goal, two years, five years, whatever your overall plan is, you need to stick to that. And you do that by tweaking your plan along the way. Uh, your failures will guide you on what you need to work on. So guys, going into finals, good luck, and make sure that you're using it in a positive and constructive way.